On February 9, 2012, Anatoly Lebedov was given the Forest Hero Award by the United Nations Forum on Forest Secretariat for his successful campaigns against illegal logging and against the destructive land practices threatening indigenous communities and Siberian tigers. Consciously, uh, consciously, uh, I mm, start to enter to accept the forest as an uh, important uh, environment for human beings uh, since probably at that time when I was elected and was when I was when I started to take care about reasonable balanced management of that forest. In my heart, I feel. Uh, uh, I feel very close to that people living there in the forest. Uh, I share their problems, I understand them, and try to help them to understand new legislation when it's changed, to bring some support uh, from um, about marketing, about any campaigning. So we work very close to the local communities. There was a project in late 80th of last century. It was a project to create a huge dam in the middle middle of our forest area, the project of huge industrial development in the heart of Usuri Taiga, which is the most biodiverse forest in Russia, and the heart of the uh, tiger country. So we uh, initiated the protesting activity together with some local community, and um, we created a documentary about that forest and about the project, uh, about the conflicts between uh, the project which came um, unexpectedly to uh, territory and people just started to oppose, etc. In Soviet times, uh, the former industry of non-timber products was really serious. It involved all the local population and uh, all the villages uh, were pretty wealthy because uh, they were involved in these practices, in this uh, activity to harvest to process and to sell, to market uh, on the local and international market. It was constant activity. Now it's gone. Uh, now it's only timber. So it was about uh, the year 2000 when we conducted a big, uh, long time uh, uh, joint action with Greenpeace. And we followed some illegal timber from the logging site to the port and then to Japan. And there was action in Japan. It was, we submitted some petition to G8 in Okinawa. So it was great action with a serious result. So it was, the problem was accepted, thanks to us, was accepted by governments. And they start thinking more seriously about the problem. Now we have some hopes because, first of all, because uh, Russian civil society just awake in December. Uh, but uh, we still need some serious changes. And then we hope some more experts, professionals, will come to government and will uh, con conduct more, more serious forest governance. I would like to in involve more n fresh blood in my NGO and because uh, the new time uh, gives new, some new opportunities for them. In this period of deep global uh, changes, uh, we hope that our focus upon support of forest-dependent communities and their environment will be the most right way of our civil activity, whatever political and economic changes happen in the world.